carbon emissions contribute to climate change, which can have serious consequences for humans and the environment. But there is a way to not only reduce these emissions, but actually benefit from them through the transformation of these into useful chemicals. At the Inorganic Membranes and Membrane Reactors Chair at the Eindhoven University of Technology, we developed small-scale, intensified and integrated systems for the distributed production of chemicals. We make use of alternative energy and resources, like electricity, bio-based sources and CO2, and we combine these in new reactors, capable of continuous, high-efficiency production of chemicals. Examples of these novel reactors include membrane reactors that combine membrane separation and reaction. As an example, when methane from biogas reacts with water, hydrogen is formed with an equilibrium reaction that requires very high temperatures. Using membranes, we separate pure hydrogen while shifting the equilibrium reaction to completion at a lower temperature. Looping reactors that combine gas-solids reactions, including sorption and separations. As an example, a solid material reacts with air and oxygen is separated, creating a metal oxide. This hot metal oxide is then used in the second reactor where it supplies the heat and at the same time oxygen is released by reaction with the fuel. And plasma reactors that combine low-temperature non-thermal plasma activation and reaction. In this case, we introduce energy in the system in the form of plasma. This way, high-energy and excited species allow reactions that would otherwise require high temperatures and pressures to occur. An example is ammonia production at ambient conditions, while otherwise it would be carried out at more than 250 degrees centigrade and a pressure of more than 150 bar. Inorganic Membranes and Membrane Reactor Group, your partner for new reactors development.